Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is the Friends slash Enemies tag. Now, it was created by another booktuber who I will link below, but guess who forgot to write the notes down and put it down. I, you guys know that I did the Friends tag and someone decided that, that they would do a Friends slash Enemies tag. So like the Enemies tag, so turn it completely on its reverse side. So I've got no idea what my little picture thing or how I'm going to do a picture for this. I was tagged in this by Nell, by Nell and Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot because they seem to like seeing me do my evil side. I will get back at you guys by the way. One way or another I will get back at you for trying to bring out the hard the devil side of me because I find it really hard to be nasty. I will be honest some of these answers I, I found challenging. I've decided to try and be a bit more sporadic and a bit more instantaneous and try not to think about my answers too much because if I think too much it hurts and I don't want to do that do I that's like really not a good thing for me so let's get on with it first prompt is E is for enemies how many enemies do you currently have I don't think I have any I know some people don't like me I know that I've had some people on booktube unfriending me but I don't think of anyone as enemies because I don't I try not to do that Previously, I've had bosses that have derived, driven me around the bend and I've hated them. But that was in the old days. I'm, try, I'm a parent now, so I have to show the nicer side of me. I will be honest with you, I am a nice person. But just ask my sister Charlie from Charlie Brook. If you get on the wrong side of me, that's not nice. I am nice to you guys on here because I'm at home on here. But if people upset my family or my kids, my, 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 my sisters, my kids, I turn into evil. You get three chances to, to do my head in. Three. If anyone goes past that, there's no going back. I'm a Christian, so I'll always forgive. But I will never, ever forget. This is a family trait. My mum is like, my mum is the nicest person in the world, but she will never ever forget if people have hurt the people she loves the most in the world and it's so badly me oh god guys i know it's like it's an art not is this an answer that i got bullied all my childhood when someone tried picking on charlie at school i still remember the day this day this to the day someone tried picking on her i stood up her and i got into trouble and she got annoyed at me because i got that she ended up with more trouble but i did try i tried i stuck up for her so no enemies now but yeah, I'm not a nice person to get on the wrong side of if anyone does. But you guys don't need to worry because no one's going to do it. But she's lovely. That's all that matters. Next one. N is for new releases. Are there any November 2020 releases on your TBR? Now, I had a look at this because obviously I'm filming this nearly March, end of February. So I had to look at this on Goodreads and look at it up online. I found out that Dark Tides was released in November 2020. That is a book that I've just added to my Amazon wish list because I really want it. I've read Tidelands and I really want Dark Tides. The Betrayals was released. I read it and I've already read it. So that's a November 2020 release. There are other books that have been said. Um, Love in Lockdown. I've heard about that. I need to put that on my Amazon wish list. I don't, it's not just to, by the way, guys, to get books from Amazon. I don't want to support them too much. But right now it's another way of me keeping an eye on which books I'm looking out for when the shops reopen. Anyway more rambling e is for enrage what does it take for a complete stranger to enrage you like i said i try not to get enraged it's not nice for me if you're upset with my children without any reason then i get peed off upset my sisters or chris or anyone i love or any of you guys any of my friends on here then i get peed off if a stranger upsets you lot or someone i care about they're in trouble. It takes a lot for them if they thought they can do it throw at me. That doesn't tend to enrage me. I'm just like, water off a duck's back. Don't care. But although I did have one incident when last year, um, when I was on my crutches, no, like a couple of years ago, when I was on my crutches and when I was really badly in pain, I was having problems getting in and out of my partner's car and I accidentally slammed the car door. It's not slammed. I whacked someone's, my car door into someone else's and this lady started screaming and shouting at me and I got upset it was actually Mia that got more enraged but I'd looking back if it would have been happened now I probably would have been very enraged because you don't have a go at people for disabilities 
So, but if I don't start something and someone has a go at me, then yeah, then I get really peed off because I'm like, pop, 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 you know? Anyway, okay. M is for Malice. What memorably evil character sticks with you? My first answer, because I don't give one answer, is the White Queen from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. But the way that series ended up, I don't really want to go on about that too much because I don't like that. But there is an evil character in one of my in my favourite book in all the world, which is The Curse of Dark and Noni, Lilith. Oh my God. Lilith in this is evil from the start to the end. And there is no way at any point in the whole series where she actually, where you see that there was a reason for her being evil. A little bit is like revenge kind of thing, but she's not, she's like evil through and through. The things she does to to Harper and to Rian and to my favourite Grey. God, she hurt Grey. Anyone who hurts Grey, I was like, sorry for the swearing. But I hated her. To see the evilness she was doing in this and like hurting innocent people and things like that. She's my, mem my most memorable evil character through and through. E is for eradication. Is there a book you wished you could erase from existence? If and if so, why? The woman who went to bed for a year. You got by Sue Townsend. It was my first book that has actually gone in the recycling bin at the front. I actually threw a bin in the recycling bin, a book in the recycling bin. Did anyone ever think they would hear me do that? It, to me, there was fat phobic comments. There was comments about pe autistic people. There was racism. There was um just every single trope you could hate and it was like i only carried on the buddy read because it was buddy read with guy and i love Gaia and i wanted to people people i cared about I actually liked it so i thought i'd give it a go i that's why i didn't give it to the charity shops because i said to my mum me and my mum had a discussion about it and she was like why don't you just give it to the charity shop i said no because that would be encouraging someone else to read it and i don't want to, to do that i want to get rid of it you put it to some use and get it recycling and get it, go back to nature or whatever Anyway, S is for seething. Is there a book that still enrages you years later? Okay, guys, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I know we try not to talk about that bloody author, J.K. Rowling. But her, the net, that book was not actually written by her. It was a screenplay written by someone else. But I, I can't stop liking the Harry Potter series. I won't talk about it too much. You know I don't. But that book changes the ending of the harry potter book so in all the at the end of the harry potter book it said how things worked out and stuff like that and stuff in the cursed child just completely changes the harry potter world as we knew it you know voldemort came back bother you know that there's stuff in that that just wouldn't happen and it annoyed me because it got you thinking about things about the harry potter world and things that could have happened and changing history and i don't like changing a world that i i liked and it was comfortable to me and as much as yeah I don't like anything else to do with that bloody woman. The Harry Potter world is a comfort zone and, and that's something I can't, I can't erase that from my head. I'm sorry. I really am sorry, but I can't. And the Cursed Child fucking does my head in because it changes that world. It changes that, that comfortable place and I don't like it. I don't like anyone taking me out of my comfortable places and making a world that made me feel safe at the worst times in my life, changing that. It's wrong. So, no, that annoyed me. Anyway. I hope, Nell and Scott, you like this. I hope I've done an all right job of it. I am trying to be as well-rounded as I can, not just nicey-nicey Emily, trying to show that I do have a, not a nice side. And I've tried to change it around. I think it's a compliment that someone actually tried to turn my friend's tag and turned it around into an enemy's tag. I think that's quite a big compliment. And that, the ta that tag video is one of my best videos that I've done on here. It was my own creation. To me, that was something that meant so much. And that's probably one of my book two things I'll never forget. So I can't thank you enough, all enough for doing it. And I can't thank the guy that created it because it's brilliant. So I will tag, I will link Nell and Scott's video down below. I am going to tag some people because let's try and do, pull this on its hook and try and think about it. I'm trying to think who hasn't done it and who would do it. Now I know Ange has done it. So you guys have got to check out Ange because she's lovely. Do I tag Jem? I'm gonna tag Gemma from Read the Book, Gem, because you don't have a hor you don't have a nasty bone in your body in general. But I think it would be quite funny to see you do it. Charlie from Charles Keith Co. I don't know if you've done the enemies tag. You of all people would be hilarious doing that. So definitely Charlie's got to tag Charlie. And 
I know who I'm going to tag. Becca from Becca's Bookshelves. Because she is hilarious. She's brilliant. She's funny. But she definitely has an evil side of it. She likes the horror kind of books and she likes things like that. So there you go. I'm going to tag Becca, Charlie and Jem. Yes, they're booktube besties of all of mine. But I would love to see you all do it. And actually, Tori from HufflePuff Discovery. So I'm just even the same people. Guys, if there are any of you that haven't done this video that want to do it, please do it. Please let me know that you've done it. And please tag me in it because that would be great. Anyway, that's enough for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.